Today, I look back at my journey. The highs, the lows, the doubts, the victories, the daring points, and everything yet to come. I see the culmination of every event. And one thing is certain. This is just the beginning. It's 48 hours to Butterflies 3. This has got to be the longest I've spent preparing for a stage play. This is my, this is my cafe. We had almost three months to work on this. And to be honest, I had an entire year to write the script. But I spent eight of those 12 months building the story in my head. People had seen different sides of my favorite creation, Jayola Williams. And I knew he needed major character development this time, or at least return to the man they knew him to be. I wasn't going for a cliché love story. There had to be more. Drama, tension, fear, the thrill. I started building on this idea in December and was finally going up on stage in 48 hours. Wow. I never imagined that Butterflies would spin off into a three-part series. But like they always say with storytelling, the story is never complete until you stop writing. Ah, when he gets on stage, it'll be fine. Oh, he missed it. Ah. One of my favorite parts of any stage play is cast interaction. This time, we had grown from just cast to a family. Most of them had been on this project with me for three years, and Butterflies had become our project. These guys had been at overnight rehearsals back to back for the past three weeks and this was our final one where they get familiar with the stage at Muson Center. Yeah, this year we were taking butterflies to Muson thanks to the visionary leadership of PS. Last year was a grandeur. The year before that was a Karis and now we are one of the biggest theatre centers in Lagos. There's nothing like a creative family like the new that gives you the platform for creative expression at its peak. We started out early this morning at the beach for the shoot of the proposal scene, which happens to be one of my many joys of Butterflies 3. I remember wanting to cancel that shoot, but looking back now, I'm super glad we eventually did that. It just added to the whole color of butterflies. Anyway, I'm here at Muson Center with Dayton, Wisdom, Precious, and every other person. Dito, I mean, she's been such an amazing help all through this project. Powerhouse she is. Holding the fort, you know, every time I wasn't around. Strong leader. Butterflies, and we're setting up props, set, and everything that needed to be tested. Of course, 
There's a visual representation of what we already have in mind, and it just had to come out right. I remember my first costume conversation with Isabella before she sent in her mood board. I mentioned to her that the costumes were not just outfits. There had to be a certain type of way each character should look down to the colors. And mixing that up was going to change each character. Same thing with the set, which is why I spent hours, days and nights trying to ensure we had a befitting representation of the overall stage set. Then there was the songs, and of course, if you follow the Butterfly series, you would know that music is an essential part of the story. There's always a playlist down to the sound effects, and this year, those sound effects were extremely, extremely important. I spent the past week, you know, going over different songs, trying to find the most appropriate for each scene. One thing I've come to realize is that a play is beyond the lines. It's building that emotion, the anticipation, taking you on a journey making the characters more relatable and creating an immersive experience. And this includes the lights, the stage design, the outfits and the songs. It all comes together backstage for that great show you all come to love eventually. Dotting all the eyes, taking all the T's. I mean, we're going to be back here at the crack of dawn to be sure everything was running smoothly. Now, in the middle of that, I get a message that my baby show, Nathan, had to be taken to the hospital less than 24 hours to butterflies. In my head, I'm, I'm thinking, why tonight? And so, we were straight from Muson to the hospital. The crew with me didn't even realize anything was up. Not until we parked in front of the hospital. I honestly do not know how I would have pulled through butterflies without the support of the most amazing wife. I know butterflies is our love story, but trust me guys, Having a woman that supports your dream, embraces the way your vision disrupts your schedule, and holds down the fort when the stage calls, is a major reason why I can constantly show up on stage with one less worry. In the middle of the sleepless night, the night rehearsals away from home, she was there. My help made to carry our family. And so we got to the hospital at almost midnight and thankfully, all was fine. I picked up my family and we went home for one last sleep before the show. Fast forward to the butterflies morning.
What's a show if we don't show up looking fresh? <laughs> Starting the day with a trip to the barbers for final prep for the show. I barely slept last night. Spent the entire night drilling the crew just to be sure everything was in place. <laughs> a few hours before the show and the adrenaline starts to rush in yes i was tense a bit the adrenaline rush of ifs and maybes hit and i needed a break from the scene i had one last assignment to complete before that show I had to double check on the music and every instrumental. I checked, you know, with Dito and the cast and the entire crew just to be sure, you know, I could sleep away for a few minutes to attend to this. Well, I snuck away to the car. <laughs> At that moment, I knew I needed someone beside me. And so, I called Isabella and we headed out to work on the playlist. Sorting through songs and distracting conversations was the calm I needed before the show. A minute away from the pressure of work will be and focusing on what we had to do. After a while, I went back in. The stage was set and the lights came on. Whoosh!
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I'm not sure I have the words for the first emotions that ran through my head when the actors went on stage. The images I had dreamt of since December when I started writing came to life. The characters came alive. The dialogue became real. Why are you being so selfish? Oh, don't even give me that crap, Jaye. The way people hung on every word, the delivery from the actors, the costumes, everything was given. It all came alive to me. I mean, I wrote the script, but at that moment, it was like I had never seen it happen before. I was hung on the audience's anticipation. Their reactions became mine. The screams, the waves of laughter, everything. Watching them reunite with Jayola Williams and fall in love with the new characters. I remember scene eight, the farewell scene where Jayola Williams got shot. I remember the audience reaction. That silence and then the roar when everybody realized that he was the one who got shot. It had to be one of my best moments of the night. Seeing the whole performance from the back, I was in awe. Seeing what we were made of and what we could do. It all became so real for me. More than a stage play, a future. A family, a new breed of creatives shaking things up, changing the status quo. When I saw Baringi, Angelo and Great Man on stage with the actors, I saw wholesome pure entertainment. I saw young people with God-given talents and the right platforms. I looked into the crowd, wowed by their reaction to every scene, every dialogue, and my heart was pumping so fast with a vision before me that young people would have a form of entertainment with the right music, the right message, and the right images. I saw the future of what could be when you partner with God for a vision. Rekindled in my heart that night was a huge sense of responsibility for this generation. At that point, Butterflies was not just a stage play for me. It became a movement, a part of a story told by the creator and we are actors in his play. I bring great joy to my city, became more than just a part of the new screen for me. I was living it in that moment. On Sunday, 26 March, 2023, the new brought great joy to the city of Lagos at Musun Center with Butterflies 3 and I was part of that movement. And then I was reminded of our creed that as sure as God helps me, I will not give up. I will not cave in. I will not quit. I will not fail. I will not fear. I will not die until my job is done and victory is won. I am the new, and no, it's not just a tagline, it's a call to keep pressing for the vision ahead. <laughs>